Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another video. So this one then, it is kind of like a part two. It follows on from my previous video where I showed you this exact same store and I took you through kind of like how I was averaging about 400 pounds a day for the first couple of weeks and then managed to scale it all the way up to the point where I hit my first four um, figure day, which was the 22nd of June. Now, if you haven't seen the video, make sure you go and check it out. I'll put a video description. I'll put a video link in the description below. And that video then focused purely on the product research aspect of things and because you guys seem to enjoy it so much it got over 100 likes which is just absolutely awesome so thank you very much then i've decided to do this video which is part two where we're going to be focusing purely on facebook ads and in particular then i'm going to be taking you through the cbo scaling strategy i used to produce these exact numbers now before we jump into my ad manager account and i take you through the numbers step by step and the strategy itself i just want to quickly mention then as always in every single video I am giving away a free one-to-one -one consultation call with me. So a chance for me and you then to have a chat. You can ask me whatever questions you want, whether it's Facebook related, product related, um, you want me to look at your store, whatever it is, a chance for me and you to talk one-on-one. -on -one. So if that's the kind of thing you might want to win, all you simply have to do then to enter the draw is like the video and leave a comment down below and the winner will be announced in my next video. If you commented on my previous video, just make sure you stay tuned to the end of this one where the winner will be announced. And with that being said then, let's jump straight into today's video. So the way this video is going to work then, I'm going to show you inside my ad manager account. I'm also going to kind of like take you through the strategy itself step by step and also the understanding of how and why this strategy works. One thing I'm big on, especially in my course, is rather than just show somebody a strategy and say go out and follow it, I like to teach people the understandings and the why behind a strategy and why essentially it works because ultimately it's the understanding of how, Facebook's, of how Facebook ads work that's going to make somebody better at marketing. So before we jump into the strategy itself, just a couple of things I want you guys to bear in mind, um, which I'm going to highlight inside my ad manager account now. So we'll just head back into my ad manager account now. Um, let's get rid of the breakdown too, so you can see all the ad sets that are in question. And I just want to refresh the data as well, so you guys can see that it is legit. Um, and the first thing I want to highlight to you guys then is the fact that there's not actually that many ad sets here. Um, a lot of people, especially that I talk to on the calls, they say that or they might be focusing their budget across hundreds of different ad sets when that just isn't the case. It's so much better just to focus on that handful. Um, and when you get those key performers, which you can see here, so two and a half grand spent, 1500 pounds spent, and then this one's edging towards a thousand, it's much better to have those two or three big performers and then start to scale rather than try to do too much too quickly. Another thing I want to highlight as well is that you can see I've ordered these in terms of the ROAS in ascending order. If you just look at the correlation between the ROAS and the amount spent, you can see that on average then speaking generally, like the more money I spend, then the better performing the ads become, which is backed up by what Facebook say themselves. They talk openly about how their conversion campaigns need time to optimize in terms of how much money is spent, how much data has gone through them. And this is backed up in the data here. You can see that the more I spend, typically the better results I get. And I, in my opinion, I think that's like the number one reason why people fail with Facebook ads is that they spend so little on them, they don't give them a chance to actually perform and bring in the desired results. So anyway, back to the strategy itself. So as I just touched on then, it's better to focus on one to three ad sets for the following reasons really. Number one, you can commit more budget. So if you're a 500 pound budget, it's better to commit that on one to three ad sets than it is on 50 different ad sets because then there's more data, more sales, more everything going through that one particular ad set. And we know because Facebook say so that ad sets optimize on an ad set level. Number two then, so you can gather more data. The more data you have, then the more efficient decisions you can make. Think of it like market research. If you were to go out there and ask, say, five people about a certain product, then that isn't in a good enough overall view of the market. Whereas if you went out there and asked, say, 500 people, then you'd have a better averages and data to work on. And then number three then is optimization, again, which I've already mentioned. So one thing to keep in mind as well is that it's normal to lose money initially and you have to think of the testing stage as data gathering so you know where to focus the bulk of your ad budget. You just saw in my ad manager account that in the initial stages, so anywhere up to spending about £100, I was still losing money. So sometimes you just have to go through that as long as the numbers are still showing pretty good, obviously. And when I say the numbers are still showing good, then I mean things like the relevance score or if you've got the new ad manager now, the quality ranking, your cost per click. 
um, the engagement rates, etc. So the strategy itself, then step by step, I'm just going to take you through how I map it out, and then I'm just going to take you through line by line of why it actually works, which is probably the most important bit. Like I mentioned earlier, unless you understand the why and understandings and workings of how Facebook ads actually work, then you're not going to get very far in the long run. So number one, then a CBO purchase campaign. CBO means campaign budget optimization, which basically means is that no matter how many ad sets you put into it, you set an overall budget for that campaign and Facebook will decipher where to spend that money. Within this CBO campaign, then I want you to put three ad sets. These are the best performers from your testing stage. If you did one, um, if you didn't one, then you can actually use this strategy to test interest or to test audiences. However, it is an expensive way to do it. So each ad set then is under 1 million in audience size. If you've got an ad set that's performing well, that you've tested that is more than that, then just make sure you increase the budget accordingly. Next up then is seven day click, which is a very important part. Make sure you don't skip this. I'll be explaining in the why this works section of the video of why we choose seven day click. Um, and then what I want you to do then is go ahead, run that campaign um, for a minimum of three days. It can be three days plus um, up to the point where you've spent at least 200 pounds or $200. And then once you've spent that much, then we're gonna start manually optimizing the CBO campaign. So essentially what I mean then or how this works is that once you've spent this amount of money, then we're gonna start making changes to the ad sets within our campaign and essentially manually optimizing it. So we only spend money on the data that we know is already working. So for example then, once you've spent 200 pounds, go into the breakdowns of your ad sets and start with the most broad first. So obviously country, then gender, then age, then placement and device. So just to give you an illustration of how you would do this is let's go into my ad manager account. We'll take this top one and we'll go by delivery and let's go by age and gender then. In fact, let's just go by age, get rid of gender because I know all of these are just focusing on the female market. And as you can see, then if we just have a look at like this top performing one here, we can see that as the audience gets older, then the ROAS actually reduces. So what I would actually do then is actually go into this one particular ad set and remove any age ranges that weren't profitable. And then I would let it run for another $50. And once you've spent another 50 pounds in all dollars, you can look to manually optimize the ad sets again and just move further down our list. So we just look to age. The next step would be placement and device. Now there's a couple of ways you can do this number one is you can get greedy and you can start spending more and more money on the data that's working and that's basically just to try and become as profitable as possible however what I tend to do is that when something is profitable and going nicely for me um, then I kind of have the approach of if it's not broken then don't fix it so I won't make any changes the only future changes I will make is simply to the budget because obviously the more money I spend then the more money I want to make and typically then following this strategy that's how I like to go so that's the strategy itself then guys step by step now the actual important bit of the video in my um, opinion so make sure you stay tuned and just listen through this um, any questions at all on this then please do understand please 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 don't skip this bit because unless you understand why it works or how Facebook ads work that is how you're going to be successful in the long run not by watching a YouTube video and following a strategy step by step you need to understand how Facebook ads actually work so the reason behind this strategy then and why it actually does work um, and what I've kind of done is kind of like corresponded the line by line so this top line um refers to this top line the second line refers to this line and so on so the reason cbo then is because it allows facebook to find the cheapest conversions essentially you're giving control to facebook for them to go out there and give you the best results and kind of like the more important reason in fact is that from september onwards is cbo campaigns are going to be your only option so now is the time to start experimenting and testing and getting familiar with them next up then and the reason behind three ad sets per cbo campaign um, and it's in relative to your budget to be honest if you want to put more ads in then obviously just make sure you start spending more money as well because you don't want to spread your budget too thinly and the reason behind this then is because Facebook is a bidding platform and conversions are the most expensive and competitive therefore you need to spend more money to give them a chance to optimize and actually become profitable before they start before Facebook starts to learn who your ideal customer is and start bringing optimal results as I showed you in my ad manager account it wasn't until I started spending about 100 pounds 200 pounds on average 
storage per ad set and gave Facebook time to do that, then that was only at that point they start to become profitable. So the reason for under 1 million then with the audience size is so you have a higher quality audience until you start spending thousands of pounds in my opinion, then you want to basically try and target the highest quality audience possible. And obviously the larger the audience, then the more people that's gonna be included in there that isn't, that aren't relevant to your product and therefore it's just gonna be wasted budget and it's gonna be more budget you'll have to burn through before your ads actually do start to optimize. Next up then, seven day click, and this is so more data is counted towards your optimization. So essentially what it means is that when somebody clicks on your ad, if they purchase within seven days, then they are counted towards the data that Facebook then uses to optimize your ad set. So obviously the more data you can include, then the better. Next up then, the reason behind the £200 budget initially is to give time for the CBO to optimize. Obviously in the initial stages, that is when it's going to be like experimenting the most within your audience sizes and it's essentially when it's going to be the least accurate so you need to give it time to optimize and gather data because the more data you gather then the easier it is to see what countries are working what genders are working what ages are working etc etc um, next up then the reason i want you guys to wait 50 dollars or 50 pounds in ad spend before you make changes just purely because if you make changes like every hour or every three or four hours or every day to an ad set then i find it doesn't really give it time to properly settle and bring in consistent results. That's why I want you guys to wait before you make each individual change. And then the last point then is start with the broadest options possible so you don't go too small too quickly. So let's say you pick three ad sets then with a million audience size each, that's three million people. If you were to go straight to placement and device, then that might bring your overall audience size down to like half a million, a million people. I don't know, it depends, doesn't it, on what your interests are. So just start as broad as possible so you're not making a significant change quickly to your campaign before it's given a chance to actually perform and optimize. And with that being said then guys, that is the why behind this strategy actually works. As it says here at the bottom of the page, these notes will be available to download. There will be a link in the video description below. So if you want a copy of these notes yourself, um, just head over to that link and there'll be a free download for you. Um, like I said earlier, if there's any questions on this at all whatsoever, make sure you leave a comment down below. Um, um, I do get back to every single question. And if you enjoyed the video, then of course, please do make sure you leave a like. If you want to be entered in for the chance to win the one-to-one -one call, then of course, um, please make sure you leave a comment too. And in fact, with that being said, then let's get into announcing the winner of the previous video. So here we are then guys on the previous video. This is part one, what this video follows on from. So if you haven't seen it yet, please do go make sure you check it out. I will put a link in the video description below. Anyway, let's take the URL then, head over to our random comment picker get YouTube comments, 41 unique comments, which is absolutely awesome. So thank you very much, guys. We are fast approaching 7,000 subs, by the way. So if you haven't subscribed yet, please do make sure that you do. And the winner of the previous video then is Robbie HD. So thank you very much for your comment. Please do reach out on Instagram. We can get that call arranged. And guys, if you just want to get straight down to business and book a call right away, then you can actually do so. Just make sure you check out the links in the video description below. And with that being said, guys, thanks again for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed the video. And I see you in the next one.